My father is a surgeon but the file on his laptop says otherwise. Part 2. Submitted by DBP420. It has been two days since I last posted something, mainly because I have had no way of getting proof that my father is insane. Our home has been quiet for the past few days, nothing to talk about. As much as I like summer break and not having to do anything, just sitting in bed and relaxing, I dread having to wake up now. As time went on, no matter how much I hated doing it, I realized the only way to save that kid was to reopen the file. Maybe it could tell me the whereabouts of him. Next morning as soon as my dad left, I opened the laptop and typed in the same password. It opened. Revealing the sick things my dad has hidden from us. I tried not to gag while watching these videos. Children getting beaten to death, screams from the elderly. What the fuck is wrong with this man? All of the videos were filmed in the same few rooms. It was either a basement somewhere or an operating room. But where could it all be? My father's entire occupation is a lie. How did we not find out about this earlier? One thing that stuck out was multiple pictures and videos of the kid I mentioned before. Always in the same basement. Always tied up. All of the videos were titled My Precious. What sick fuck would do this? As I unwillingly kept scrolling through dozens of these sick pictures and videos, I saw something. It was another video but this time titled Favorite Family. It didn't start out sick, but slowly it delved into the worst video imaginable. It was a home video my father recorded. He was hanging out with a woman and some kids. Slowly I realized something. These weren't just ordinary people, it was another family. The date on the bottom was July 8, 2003. He had another family. They were outside, somewhere in a park just enjoying the moment. Even weirder, my father and mother and father met in 2010. The video slowly moved from a home video to a documentation about his descent into madness. He tortured his wife, and he would regularly get into fights with her. Sometimes he even was considering killing her. The final 20 seconds were filmed during the night, everyone was asleep. He recorded a video of him in a mask playing around with a knife. The video cut off. I tried to make myself think that it wasn't true. He wouldn't do that. My father isn't like that. I tell myself. I shut off the laptop to think about what I had just seen. Those videos weren't just some friends. That was a family. A family he was a part of before he met my mother. I had googled that date in my town, and sure enough, I found an article saying the entire family was killed. But by a gas explosion. The entire house was set on fire, and the bodies were never found, although pieces of them were. I couldn't watch any more. The videos made me sick to my stomach. That day the four of us went out to walk. It was silent for most of the day. My brother was so happy. He would hold their hands while he was just laughing and smiling. Looking at him, I realized that no matter what happens next, I will make sure to protect him. As hard as it is to choose a side now that I know this, I won't let my father hurt my brother. If it comes down to it, I'd rather have a brother than a father. At times I would look at my father, and he would just look back at me and smile. That smile warmed up my day. My father was my idol before I had seen the shit he had on his laptop. In the darkest of days, he would cheer me up. Now all I see is a mask, hiding his true identity. As much as I hate him for this, I'm not sure what to do if I had proof. He is my father. That night sleeping was impossible. I can't sleep knowing what he is capable of. I have decided to spend the next few nights at a friend's house since I am aware it's not safe to stay in that house. Thankfully he doesn't know I know his secret. I forgot to mention this part, but I added an app on the laptop that whenever he uploads a picture or video to there, I get a notification along with the video slash picture itself. I'm trying to find every way to get proof. I need to bring him to justice. I know that now. I can't let this all be for nothing so if I stop posting this will still be here. Maybe someone could continue where I left off. I have one more idea of what to do. Once I come back to the house, I'll set up an app where I can see the location of my father and where he is at all times. As long as he takes his phone, I can see where he is. With this, I will find and save the kid. In case I ever do stop posting just assume I'm dead. I would rather die trying to avenge all the people who have suffered because of my father than live and pretend I don't know it exists. These are the coordinates where I hit a USB stick containing all the evidence. These are the coordinates 44.820934, 15.869271. He uploaded a new video about an hour ago. Titled Betrayal just seeing the title scared me. Did he find out? Is he watching me now? Cautiously, I opened it, and it wasn't about me, this is the part where you'd think that's a good thing but. He thinks it's my brother. 
The video was of him recording the basement where people get tortured. However, he recorded it all on the phone he uses, so it was in high detail. He did it on purpose. Even recording the tools he plans to use on him. He recorded it all because he wanted my brother to be scared. What have I done? My brother will die because of me. I need to get there and stop him now.